Hope you guys have a wonderful day. My name is Roger Hatton. Welcome back to another video. Today, as you guys are probably title, we're going to be showing you guys how to record, how to stream with Valorant on OBS. But before we jump straight into it, if you guys are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video if you do enjoy, and let's jump straight into it. Uh, apologies for the streamception right now. Uh, this is going to be a very trippy video for you guys. But what you want to do is go to File, go to Settings, and here we are. So, as you can see, we're on the settings, and what you want to do is go to Stream. You don't need to go to your settings or your youtube or your twitch and find the stream key you can literally just log in with twitch youtube facebook etc etc so yeah next up we have the output now i have used advanced as you can see and here are my streaming settings so i use nvenc new if you don't have this option make sure it's x264 or nvenc second option and rescale output we have not got that tick when it comes to streaming you want to make sure it's the best quality and if you're using platforms like twitch and youtube and facebook it downscales anyway for the viewer so they could change the what quality they want to watch it the rate control is cbr the bit rate is 5k i picked 5k because on my internet if you guys want to check it out yourself speedtest.net and it's your upload speed if your upload speed's around 20 megabytes make sure it's a quarter of your speed so if it's 20 megabytes it should be like 5k if it's 15 maybe do like two two three maybe three megabytes and if it's like 10 or below make sure it's like two or above just because below 2500 the quality turns to 480p and yeah it's just not a good good thing for the viewers keyframe intervals two reset is max quality because this is more to our cpu and you want to make sure it's a, the, the more lower you go the more harder your cpu and your gpu will um, process the quality you just want to make sure it's not affecting your gameplay in game or your cpu while running your stream next up we have profile high i'm not really figured this out or focused on this so i tend to just do high you can do main if you want i used to use main i changed the high i don't know what this is so we just leave it as that next up we have the recording tab and as you can see i can't really change everything and show you guys but we have a standard type recording path make sure you once you click browse you can make a separate folder for all the footage that you record before you you go into repressing record make sure this recording format is almost mp or always mp4 because if it isn't then you have to convert the file from like an mp4v whatever it'll take like forever to convert and yeah it's just not a good type it's just not a good thing not a good thing all right it's not good but audio track make sure it's one to one to one stick because obviously it's just one audio track for me i use my mic and uh desktop audio that's basically it so all of it's together but you can obviously do two or three or how many audio tracks there are uh, and encoder once again is nvenc new if it's the x264 then by all means but like i said x264 is a cpu processing encoder so make sure be careful if you want to go over the board and over the top with your cpu when it comes to streaming because it can damage it so that's why nvenc and nvidia nvenc is the best because it just pro it processes through the GPU and it doesn't really affect your game as much. The next up we have is custom mixer, mixer settings. Don't even know what that is, so left it like that. Um, rate control, CBR once again. This is your bitrate for your quality for recording. And this could be anything. This could be up to 20,000 to 10,000 to 5,000, anything. you got to think logically. 5K is good 1080p. Now, if you have a good CPU and a good GPU, you could do up to 10. A good GPU, I would say, is an i7 8th gen plus or an i5 8th gen plus or a uh, and the gpu wise i would say a 1060 i have a 1060 6 gig and above that or a 1050 ti 4 gig above that it should work even a 1030 i could push it a little bit if you could do it uh, with a good processor then 8000 to 5000 to 8000 is good the keyframe obviously is two quality once again i said this time instead of max quality is quality like you're watching this right now how's the quality let me know down below in the comments next up we have profile is high and then the rest is the same as the streaming section audio you could leave you could fiddle this out yourself replay buffer replay buffer is a clip thing 
I will be making a separate video to this. So yeah. Next up we have audio. Obviously I have my desktop audio. The sample rate is 48. Stereo, mono. Mono is one ear, two is stereo. You know, desktop audio is my headset. And I don't have two audio tracks because why would i need two desktop audios obviously people would have a gameplay and music for example mic mic auxiliary audio is my mic so this is my road nt usb and the rest is disabled because i don't really have another mic but obviously people would use that for like a second camera or like a completely different setup in a different room so on and so forth meters don't really haven't fiddled with this out and then the hotkeys you could fiddle this out yourself you could whenever your your mum comes in or something you could press the button it mutes it and then once she goes she could unmute it etc etc you guys could sort this out figure this out yourself uh video settings base base and output 1920 by 1080 but if you don't have the best specs crank it down to 720 it will make your life 10 times better i used to have like an i3 processor with like a 1050 and i'll scale it down to 80, 80 by 720 my streams and videos when it comes to my streams i could play in 1080 and it'll be free frames will be fine obviously i'd cap my game to 30 I, i'll cap my stream to 30 so it doesn't affect my game as well so yeah now that i could do 60 fps it's 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 amazing make sure this is by cubic or the one lossless i think oh, is it 32 i'm not too sure but the one above this make sure it's not the one that's down below down because this this really affects your cpu usage affects your uh gpu usage as well uh hotkeys you could sort this out yourself like i said previously change screen if you want change scenes so on and so forth and then advance here it is there you go as for the general this is the process uh this is your cpu usage so this is how much proce process your cpu would do make sure it's above normal or high so that it doesn't have really much of an effect to your game and it just makes sure stream and your quality for your recording better and for video make sure it's render a direct 3d 12 or 11 nv12 color format and color space 709 you could do 712 if you want i think that's what it is not correct me if i'm wrong then color range 4 this is just quality for your colors pop magic uh, i'm gonna press cancel because everything's fine and now well sorry once again everything's trippy again but once you get to once you've done the settings what you want to do is press plus click on what you have to make sure that valorant is loaded press game capture click game capture three capture specific window and valorant should be here and if valorant is not there make sure it's obviously running and once you press uh once once it's done you press ok and then it should be it should be on screen which my valorant is one of these ones here <laughs> i don't really i haven't really got this organized so yeah there's the Valorant should be there. Then you can figure out your desktop audio here. Your mic quality is here. And obviously this is your my mic for my cam link. So that's why if I unmute it, it's, it's going to double. double. So yeah, yeah let's not talk, talk about, about that. that. Depending on your streaming software, obviously Twitch will just have start streaming over here. It's our managed broadcast. My, my one's managed broadcast. So I stream on YouTube. If you guys want to come through, by all means come through. Yeah. But yeah, boys, I think that's it. For today's video if you guys have enjoyed this video drop a like subscribe for new love your faces take care peace